Hi all, in this video I am going to explain how we will use a drop down using a PrimeNG. So it's more about the PrimeNG library drop down. So just come to PrimeNG website and when you search for a drop down here, you can see all the documentation. So there they are specifically saying we have to use Angular CDK version. So in your application, you make sure that you have already installed Angular CDK. Else it won't work. Okay. So you can go to the package.json of your application and make sure it is there. Angular CDK is there. Okay. After that, in order to use a drop down, you can simply import a module of PrimeNG called drop down. So you can import this module. From the PrimeNG drop down, you go to the app.module.ts. If you are using any lazy loading of, or if you are using planning to use a drop down HTML inside any other component HTML, if any module is associated for that HTML, please import PrimeNG drop down in that module instead of app.module.ts. Okay. Here I have, I have only one uh, module and one component.html. So I am planning to use p dropdown inside the app.component.html. So you can import that in the app.module.ts. So I am importing, sorry, I am importing that from the primeng dropdown module and I am using this dropdown inside the imports module. Then it will be automatically imported. For the primeng dropdown, so this alone won't work. So you have to include browser animations module also for uh, working a PrimeNG dropdown. So for that, you have to import browser animation So you will get that uh, particular name from uh, when you go to this particular website and when you click on this uh, uh, link, okay, you will get the stack uh, uh, example. So from that, there you will get a link. So you have to import that. Okay, browser animations modules you have to import from the platform browser animations and you have to refer that inside the imports module. So these two uh, modules are required for making a drop down work in PrimeNG. Okay, after save, let's assume you have an endpoint which returns a list of data which needs to be showed inside a drop down. So I have just created a dummy JSON with different labels and all different fields are there inside that JSON. So what is my requirement is like I have to create a drop down inside the drop down. I have to show the name and the email ID. So when I select a name, email ID should be passed to the back end. Something like that I have a requirement. So I have to show all these data inside a drop down. So how I will do that? So just assume that this is an endpoint. This is an API uh, from your end. So I am just calling a services for getting those uh, dummy data from for me for your case it will be an api then after i am getting all those details so in the component.ts i am calling that particular service and i am getting the data in the response response file so what i have to do is like i have to pass this array of data to show in the drop down and i have to pass the variable into the html okay so i am just mentioning it as a user list equal to response i am not i didn't declare a variable yet so i am just declaring it user list equal to an empty array okay. i am saving it so in the user list array i have all the data i need to show in the drop down then using prime ng you can see 
we have an, a prime NGP drop down and in the options we will specify all the list of data. Maybe it will be an object array or it will be a singular. Mainly it will take a object array. So ng model we will have an ng model when we select any data from the array of data it will be stored in the selected city and this I will explain you further on that. Okay. So here options will be all the data. So all the data which I need to show in a drop down I will have stored in the user list array. So I am just making the options as the user list. ng model it will be a selected user. I didn't create a variable yet. So you can create a variable there. User list equal to just assume it's a simple string by default. Okay. So here we have an option label name. What is option label name? So just assume you have an array of object. So what is the data you have to show to the user inside the drop down? That will be the label. Okay, that label will be the name here. For my case, I have to show the users the options as these names as the options I have to give. So I have to what I have to refer is like option label name. Okay, then sorry I have missed one single opening uh, less than simple and after selecting it you can I can show you what it is happening now I have run the applications you can see all the data will be shown here okay so if you are thinking like uh, if you want to show the mail ID instead of the name what you have to do is like option label instead of name you can give email id you can see then user will see the email id instead of the name the same way whatever uh, whatever data we have to show to the user that will be come into the option label so it will be a objects um, and it should be an object array and you can show this way I'm just changing back to name. Then just I am just for showing purpose. I'm just uh, showing the data here. Okay, selected user. So when I select a particular name, what will happen? What is the data which will be stored in the selected user? So it will be initially it will be an empty when I select a particular data. Okay, when I select a particular data, you can see it will be override. The value will be object. So just assume you don't need a value of object while I select a data. You only have to show an email ID as the value. So what you can do is like there is an option called option. Same as a value, we have an option called value equal to. Then this is a name. Just assume that I have to pass uh, to I have when I select a particular option, I have to get the email ID instead of a name or instead of a full object. Then you can specifically mention option value. You can see that it will be automatically show like this way. So you also notice one more thing. So by default, it will be Joe Hendrick will be selected and the value is empty. Actually, it is not selecting. Whatever the value coming first, it is just showing you that it is actually not selecting. For avoiding that, you can put a placeholder also. So I am just putting a placeholder equal to select user. You can see by default it comes a select user when I select one name it will be automatically uh, that email ID will be shown to the user. Okay this is the basic behavior of a angular uh, prime ng drop down and one more thing just assume you are I am just overriding this name and email ID with a label and value variable. Okay so I am replacing the name with a label 
and email id with a value so if this is the case so for example whatever the json coming from the backend as an options so label is the one which you have to show to the user and value is the one which when we select a particular value if the value should be like this way and if the key is label and value do you don't you do not have to specifically manually mention this option label and option value so when i save it you can see automatically it will be understand label is the this one and value is this one so you don't have to specifically if it is uh, the other way if, is, if it is a different key other than the label and value you have to manually mention option label equal to this one and option value equal to this one and if you don't want to mention option value it will be it will be selected value full object array you will get this full object array that is uh, prime ng drop down so you you have a different options also so if you want this is a uh, template driven and if you want to use ng model you can use a form and form control name also you can use it so it is very simple only and uh, we, we have an another option uh, like so if you want to um, you know show some of the fields as the disabled okay so from the back end list if you are giving an active status or any variable so based on that also you can you will be able to disable for example so in your response if you have a value called inactive any variable okay any variable which is true or false and if you uh, mention option disabled to that variable then it will be automatically disabled so if i have a five elements if you want to disable two elements in that particular section if you pass a true inactive true or false something like that it will be automatically enabled and disabled so we have a many different options you can see model driven forms also there here and also if you have to show a custom content so you can see if you want to show some custom content also it will be very easy in you while using prime ng so you have to just mention a ng template so why after selecting what will be the design before selecting when a user click on the uh, particular drop down so all the options designs and the selected after selecting what will be what it should be shown for example so this this will be the one Egypt with the flag. So after selecting also, if you want to show the same uh, icon and Egypt, that that is what it is mentioned here. Then virtual scrolling is also there. So different animation configuration. So if you go through this tutorial, uh, you will get more idea about it. And it may be in some of the drop downs you can see uh, this Prime NG. Uh, and this prime ng drop down uh z index issues will be there so you have an option called append index basis z index also we can set so different options are there so which is very easy for you and if you want to enable you know filter options as well so that is also available in the prime ng drop down for example if i give a filter equal to true Let me check the correct option. You can see when we do a filter so you can here see a filter of option is also available so if i type something so implementation wise it is very easy uh, for implementing all the options is available inside the prime ng drop down it is very easy if you are using this prime ng drop down so and also if you are if you want to trigger any particular function on click on change on filter on focus so many options are available inside this prime ng uh, drop down so that is all about um, prime ng drop down hope you understand